Richard, I'm looking forward to this game tonight because you desperately need the points to get out of this relegation zone. But teams are chasing Armadale this all, uh, for promotion, so they'll be desperate uh, as yeah, well. Huh? Yeah, both both teams are fighting for two different uh, objectives. You know, Armadale are a really good team, so it's got to be a tough, tough game. But we need to start picking points up to get ourselves out of this, this uh, relegation battle that we're in. So we're here tonight to give it our best shot. And it'll be a good crowd tonight with Ground Talk Weekend. Uh, is it good to know that the guys looking forward to it, Friday night football? Ah, uh, yeah, some of the younger guys we've kind of touched on it. They've probably not played it against uh, big crowds and things like that before. We're coming for juvenile football and that. So, yeah. I just to go out and enjoy it tonight. It'll be a tough game, but go out and enjoy it. And that's, that's all you can ask of them, eh? Thanks very much, Richard. Hey Colin, so looking forward to today's game, Bob. A big crowd today with all the ground toppers here. Yeah, looking forward to it, Nori. Um, Boys are buzzing for it. We've, we've trained well on Tuesday night. Uh, we've got a few players back for previous weeks. We've been a bit short in numbers, so it's a nice night for it. The rain stopped, and hopefully we can put on a show. I know every game is important. You need to win, but I noticed uh, there's a bit of a race on for second place just now. Eh? If Thorn and Hibbs and is it Edinburgh South are yeah, winning yeah. the games, you know. Listen, um, Fair play to Thornton Hibbs and Edinburgh South. They're both on fantastic runs. Yeah. I think they both won 10 or 11 games in a row. Um, but we just need to take care of ourselves and win as, win as many games as possible from now to the end of the season and we'll see where it takes us. Thanks very much, Colin. Okay, in the box here, almost done. Oh. Let's go. Woo. There we go, there's half time. And it's 2 1 to Ormiston from Rose. Oh, uh, team's out for the second half. Almost done a kick off. Colin, that was some fight back. I always thought you were the better team, but of course, the first half, two went down. It was a good comeback, though, eh? Yeah, credit to the boys. Yeah, we fought to the end, but I, I didn't think we played well at all, nor to be fair, over the mm, piece. But no. we did we did uh, dominate most of the game. I didn't think we created enough. Uh, almost and scored probably up the park twice and scored two goals. But yeah. It's a, it's, it's a credit to them, they've came back and we've scored two goals in the last 10 minutes, we showed we had a couple of substitutions and well, obviously our fitness showed in the end and we managed to, managed to get the three points, which that's what we're here for and that's the pleasing yeah. thing. I was going to say that, you'll be pleased with the, the changes you made in the substitutions uh, because any manager, when you make subs and you, you go to score, you know, ov I mean, obviously you're going to say that, that was good, you know? Yeah, it's pleasing. To be honest, I've, I've hardly used myself this season, but watching for the side, uh, me and the coaching staff, uh, we spoke about it and before it was a game that suited me, so uh, I'm, still a, I'm still an option, uh, fortunately. <coughs> so I've, I've managed to come on, I've done my best, I've managed to get a goal and obviously set up the winner, which, which is great. But overall, it's, a, it's about the team, not about me, and I'm just glad to get a few points tonight. That's it. Well, thanks very much. Right, thanks. Oh, what a comeback that was. Uh, and I believe the crowd, I'm told, was a before 436, and of course that's uh, where the ground toppers uh, come up mainly from. Uh, England and uh, Wales, uh, but it does attract a few local ground toppers as well. Mm -hmm. 